Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper, and this is one of those videos I promised for the new playlist about automatic link establishment, and more specifically the new firmware release being offered by SCS modems in Germany for their P4 Dragon modem product line. I'm starting this video off with the desktop capture software to show you the program that's provided to use ALE. This is called SCS Chat ALE. And right now what you're seeing here is I'm connected via Bluetooth from the laptop to my modem, which I'll show later when I get the camera set up, to my ICOM IC7300. Sorry, the ICOM IC7200. Now, ALE might be a new topic for you. What ALE is, it's a military standard for calling other HF stations. So... The best way I think I can explain it is you have a net with a pool of frequencies. Let's say it's 10 channels long. All the radios in that ALE net will scan those 10 channels. The ALE equipped modems, if you program them this way, will periodically sound on all those channels to all the other modems or radios in the network. And that signal level be recorded in all those modems so the individual radio stations start to build an internal table of what the best frequencies are between two specific stations in a net. What I believe the principal advantage is for ALE is less about scanning all these channels like non-government organizations would use or the military is for emergency preparedness if you have somebody who has to watch a radio network the last thing they want to do for a four-hour shift is hear this the static and what happens is people turn down the volume and there's a chance they could miss a call this is a great advantage of the ALE feature in the SCS modem because you can turn the volume down and the modem will scan through your network's frequency list and wait till you get a call and you'll get an indication on the desktop in the SCS chat ALE software that you have an incoming call. Then you can turn the volume up and have your call. So I'm going to turn my volume down. It's already down. And I'm actually on the phone with Scott Kilo Mike for Charlie Zulu Uniform. He's in Northern Virginia. I'm in West Virginia. I'm going to have him place an ALE call to me now. When I get the call in, I'll get an indication on the laptop and I'll know to go over and turn the volume up and answer his voice call. So Scott, you mind placing the call? Call is coming in now. And that's the audio indication on the software that I have an incoming call. And now I can go over, turn the volume up on the radio and respond. Kilo Mike 4, Charlie Zulu Uniform. This is K1DOS. I have your station fair readable, fair readable. How me over. Roger, I have you the same. Over. Roger, returning the landline. Thank you for the call. And now he's going to disconnect the link on his end. And now we're disconnected. So what I'll do here is I'm going to do a quick pause. I'm going to set up the camera and let you actually see what the radio is doing and how it responds. I'll turn the volume knob up so you can hear what ALE tones sound like. I'll be right back. All right, guys. What you're seeing here is my ICOM 7200, my SCS Pactor modem. I have a Bluetooth link to the laptop. And you can see that I'm scanning four channels here. One, two, three, four. And my volume is turned down. And this is where I think there's a big advantage for using ALE to reduce operator fatigue. If you're working a radio room with maybe some local VHF or UHF nets, you can still have an HF shortwave going in the background, not have to listen to this, and still hear calls coming in because you'll get the ringing on the laptop. Now, I'm going to leave this volume up so you can actually hear what happens when Scott gives me another call. So, Scott, can you initiate another call? 
that is Ailey right there. It's coming into the modem. And it's doing a little handshake and exchanging signal data with my modem. And his call sign's embedded in that. Mine's embedded. Now I'm responding to a station. I'm transmitting. He's accepting my response. And now we have a link. My laptop just indicated I have a connection. And now I can place this call to Scott. Kilo Mike 4, Charlie Zulu Uniform from K1DOS. I'll copy this station. Roger, solid copy. Uh, returning to landline, can you please de-establish this link? Roger, clearing link. AM4, you clear. That noise there is his modem telling mine to go back to scanning. And now I can turn the volume down and focus on other tasks that I may have. If I'm working in a command post or a disaster area... I could work other radio nets, but the radio is going to continue to monitor these channels, and we don't have to deal with the horrible static that comes along with shortwave that makes people not like it very much. Again, I'm going to continue to make more videos, but I just wanted to do a quick introduction and kind of show you how this interacts with each other. For this new playlist on the channel on automatic link establishment, I'll put a link down below to SCS modems. This is the same modem I also do my HF email with. I have lots of videos on HF email and the winlink.org system. So SCS is really stepping up the features in these modems where they can have multiple purposes. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with another video for the playlist on automatic link establishment. Thanks for watching, guys.